Hello, love friends. Dapper Drabby here, and welcome back. I am back to content creating. I think this is going to be the first video out in the new year. We're going to be trying to start back up and get started through for the whole year along. We had some financial issues and uh, finally getting settled in, getting everything in place um, so that we can actually do this now. So I will be starting with that towering Magikarp Waylord. And I will be, uh, right now, I won't be doing the intro. Uh, I'm going to be working on making a new one just for the new year. Might as well start fresh with everything. Uh, so for that, right now, we're going to hold off on that. And we're hoping to get some more streaming as well. Uh, we have a, an Elgato card that we're going to be streaming with um, our friend over on Twitch on Sunday nights, I'm hoping to. Um, other than that, I should be hopefully uh, eventually getting a stream scheduled together. But I just got to make sure... Um, that the days off I have are actually my days off. Uh, so that's the that's where I'm at right now. I gotta make sure that I can continue taking those days off in order to be able to stream and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm slowly getting set up to be able to do all that. Um, but you know what? Uh, with this, we're gonna be doing this opening today. Tomorrow we'll be having a deck tech and some PTCGO games on uh, PTCGO, of course, with a Waylord. So I will be keeping the Waylord code. I'll probably give out a Celestial Storm pack, though, so you guys do get something out of this. Um, but I don't give out a lot of packs, just so you know. But uh, let's go ahead and read this Towering Splash GX box. And I can't believe Team Up is literally around the corner. Um, it's so close. I can't believe. It's 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 so close. And I just realized that um, I can't read this this way because of the way I have it. Um, so I'm going to try to read this real fast we have the, the pokemon tc Chowering splash gx box including um one foil promo of the tag team magikarp waylord uh four foil oversized tag team card featuring magikarp waylord four booster packs and the online code that uh, we have magikarp and waylord working together as a team big pokemon little pokemon bring their own style and working together they can take on just about anything magikarp and waylord pair up in this tag team, in this amazing collection, putting their skills together to challenge oppo opposing Pokemon to discover the power of two. Witness this astonishing delay, display of teamwork up close and add the tag team Magikarp Waylord GX to your collection. So there we go. We got the box. We're going to get that out of here. Hopefully it doesn't mess with anything. I'm going to pop this open. We got our Magikarp. We got our, our four packs here. And I'll show you guys the the big version of it. Now I am going to Toronto in March, guys. Um, with that knowledge, you guys are welcome to meet me there with my my friends. Look at that! Look at that gleam. He's just going to swallow up that Magikarp. Uh, but we got uh, Magikarp Waylord GX, the 300 HP basic that's pretty big basics um it's a pretty big basic has that super splash attack does 180 damage and then towering splash the one everybody knows if you get eight energies on Ma magikarp waylord you can do 100 damage to all of your opponent's bench pokemon and do 10 to the active so that that's where you see a lot of the games uh one and this is actually a really nicely cut this is good for the collection, I'm going to say. Um, but it can also possibly be a big expanded deck soon. And that's what I am worried about, to be honest. I know i got to figure out how to face off against this guy. Because I fully expect a Waylord stall deck coming out. In fact, I may go over it tomorrow make it myself so I know how to beat it, right? Is that the best way to do it, guys? Is make it so you know how to beat it. So we'll stick the Waylord right here. But we do have four packs here. Um, we got two Lost Thunder, a Steam Siege, and a Celestial Storm. So let's go ahead and open up the oldest Steam Siege first. And we'll just slowly pick the order of the rest of them. So let me go ahead and get the code out of here. We're going to do the pack trick. One, two, three, and two. No energies in this one. Um, move these over so I can do this here. We got Mankey focusing his energy, flopping down on you. Yanma with that scout and speed dive. 
It does not like grass types for some reason. But we know what Yanma does. This is Steam Siege after all. Um, which was a pretty cool thing. I love that that won uh, Junior's World that year. Larvesta. Hey, a Drifloon. Come on, I know you want to focus on the Larvesta, but focus on the Drifloon here. So it looks like in my new setup, I do need to work with getting a new camera, clearly. Halucha has that sudden cyclone uh, pulling something off the bench. You don't get to choose, though. I think it's just a blows the active out. Special Charge, that's something I can use for expanded tournaments. Reverse is a rare arm. All Maldo has never seen play. And our rare is a Volcarona, that dual typing Volcarona. Jesus, this thing does not want to work, does it? Does not want to work. At least we can see Magikarp, right? Yeah, Armaldo is is good, but just never saw play because of its um its difficulty to get out. Like you could not really get out those too easily, so they ended up uh, seeing very very little play, um, which happens. Ah, finding something stuck in my sinus here. Um, energy. We're gonna guess um, a metal energy. Whew. I'm having trouble breathing now. Hmm. One sec, guys. One sec. Sorry. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna start things off with the larva tar having that secondary strike. Which is very good. We got Wurmple, Ramen, a Poplio with the disarming uh, voice, I think. Yeah, it's a disarming voice. That fairy move on a water type. Skidoo, how do you do? Collecting. We got the Onyx, which is a very good tech, I believe. A Flaffy with the signal beam. Electabuzz is Thundershock in his way around. Kelkleon has that unit color three. A Heat Factory. There we go. There's a nice prism. And our rare is an Espeon. Does not want to focus on that, apparently. Focus on the hollow. That's just some weird music. I mean. that's, what, that's what you listen to in the Heat Factory, though. But there we go. Heat Factory. There's a pull for us. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and get the Celestial Storm open for you guys so you guys can see what's inside of it. There you guys go. Code. That focuses. That focused just fine, actually. The code for that one focused just fine. One, two, three, and the energy is water. No, that one's a fire energy, and I don't think I put the the things back in the right order, but that's fine. We're going to find out right now. We got Slokith with his butt showing. We got a Surskit. Slugma with the Magma Ring. A Larvitar, Leer, and Rock throwing or showing. Whisper, Whisper, Whismer with the Whale. A uh, Combustion. Lysia, which gets you your Prism Stars. So you can get that Heat Factory with it, and you can get a, uh, a Ditto Prism. A Beast Ball, grabbing your Beast from the prize cards. We got a Reverse TV Reporter, and our rare is a crazy Mr. Mime. You can't even see him, he's so colorful. Look at, can you see him that way? Is he, is he looking into your soul that way? He's just waving. Wow, what a pull, that's craziness. Welcome back, right? Welcome back. A Mime GX. We had that poll on Twitter yesterday, and then we have a Mime the day after. A Mime the day after. Wow. Heat Factory, Mime Prism. This is a great opening, but this last pack clearly has nothing in it. So let me know what you guys get in that code for the uh, <clears throat> Celestial Storm, because we got a Mime. So let me know what you guys get. Let me put this up here, I guess. Is that going to work? It is a mime after all. 
And let's see what's in this last pack. Is there some last pack magic? It is a lost thunder, so we'll be lost for a moment here. Uh, green. No, double fire. Does that mean I'm going to have a double fire pull? We have the we have the heat factory to discard these to draw more more cards. We have an onyx here. More laws laughing on the ground all the time. Marie. Hey, Litwick. I know you guys can't see this, and I'm really sad about that. Chikorita has that mini drain, a fairy charm to stop those buzz swalls. Uh, why does it? It was focusing a moment ago. Mixed bag of herbs. Flaffy. Come on. There you go. I know you know how to focus here. A reverse lampant haunting you. And our rare is... A holographic Tapu Koko. I don't think I've had, I've gotten that one. What does this even do? I haven't gotten this one. Strafe. Switch it with one of your bench. And flashing bolt. So this is the alternative to the, the spread damage one. And I'm sure this one's not played nearly as much as the spread damage one. But there we go. An electric basic. That's very cool. Not a bad pull today. We of course got the Waylord Magikarp. Now let me just throw these together here. We got a decent haul here, I think. And, I mean, that's a reverse rare, so that is technically good. We're not going to grab it. <laughs> but I do respect the trainers. We got a reverse TV reporter, which can have some uses. A Magikarp Waylord, the box itself. Tapu Koko Hollow. And a Mime uh, Rainbow. Oh, Mime Rainbow and the Heat Factory Prism, which is a very cool very good pulls here so i want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today this has been dapper drabby a little less dapper today but we will be getting back into things slowly but surely so be sure to look out tomorrow for a waylord deck tech and i will see you guys in another video i'll get i'll bid you guys a lola and i hope to see you in another video bye bye